Today I want to talk about tracheostomy tubes. Specifically, the tracheostomy tube that I want to mention is the fenestrated tracheostomy tube and how the fenestrated tracheostomy tube works. Now this is not a fenestrated tracheostomy tube and you can tell that because let's see if I can zoom in on this. This is a DCT disposable cannula trach. Uh, so let me get one out and show you what a fenestrated looks like. Sometimes we decide to cap pull the inner cannula free and we decide to cap trachs for a number of reasons. Now uh, another way to limit the use of a trach is using a speaking valve and so when a either a cap is placed or a speaking valve is put on, you're limiting the use of it. The patient needs to either inhale and exhale or just exhale uh, through their trachea and out their mouth and nose. Uh, and that's where a fenestrated tracheostomy can become helpful. It has in the uh, outer cannula, it has a little uh, oval shaped cut in it so that when the inner cannula is removed, let me take that out, When the inner cannula is taken out of it, then the patient uh, can breathe up through their uh, mouth and nose uh, while the trach may be plugged. Now, I would just caution you that you should do a leak test when you put the cuff down. Uh, do a leak test uh, with the inner cannula in place in order to assess how much uh, air the patient's going to be able to move around the cuff. The reason I say that is you can't always trust uh, the fenestration on the tube. This little hole can become easily plugged with sputum and if the patient can't breathe around the trach, around the deflated cuff, then they won't be able to get any air at all. So uh, how will you do this leak test? Well it's simple. All you have to do is uh, let the cuff down, put your finger over the uh, uh, end here and ask the patient to speak and uh, assess their breathing quickly and the patient should be able to breathe around the trachea uh, or to breathe around the trach tube. Now this may mean having to change out to a smaller trach. This is a, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but this is a, I believe it says a six fenestrated. It's hard, kind of hard to uh, zoom in on that. Yeah, this is a six fenestrated. So you may have to downsize perhaps an 8 to a 6 in order to give the patient enough room to breathe around this deflated cuff. Uh, even better, if you're going to use it this way, is a cuffless trach. Uh, so a little information about fenestrations. So the point is use fenestrated, but realize that fenestrations can become plugged and that these fenestrations can become crusted off in a few days too, particularly if there's not adequate humidification. Come,